Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving the UGC NET December 2018 question paper, and we will be taking both technical as well as non-technical sections. And here I am starting with the technical section. So in the technical section, we are discussing for the computer science discipline, and we will also try to provide this solution for electronic science discipline also. Now this question paper I got just five minutes ago. That is why I have not prepared any proper presentation PPT to solve this question paper. I am just opening up, opening this up, and I just trying to solve it. So this is one of our students sent us this question paper. Okay. So let us start with the questions. I am going to upload the solutions of each and every question one by one, and then I am going to combine all the solutions with one video. We will start with the question number one here. So the question number one says. The dirty bit is used to show which of the following? Option one is wrong page. Option two, page with low frequency occurrence. Option three, page with corrupted data. And option four, page that is modified after being loaded in the cache memory. So where do we use this dirty bit? See, we have two kinds of systems. When you study this computer architecture and organization, in that case, you have studied that uh, we have. a cache memory and we also have a main memory so we discuss about the cache memory and main memory in computer architecture but when you study the operating system in that case we used to discuss about this main memory and we used to discuss about the virtual address space or you can say the process okay now in operating system uh, this main memory is actually divided into something called as blocks okay this is actually frames this is frames okay and this virtual address space is divided into something called as pages and this frame size and page size both are equal in case of uh, computer architecture this main memory is divided into something called as blocks and this cache memory is divided into something called as cache lines cache lines okay so we can bring one page from the virtual address space in the main memory in the same way we can also bring one uh, block from the main memory in the cache line okay now this dirty bit is also called as the modified bit so it is having two names one is the dirty bit and second one is the modified bit so it is also known as modified bit and it is a bit that is associated with a block of computer memory which indicates whether or not the corresponding block of the memory has been modified so for example if i place one of this block from the main memory to the cache line now here if the block has been modified then we can set the dirty bit as 1 so it it tells whether a block is modified or not and this happens when uh, this sets uh, the processor set the dirty bit when it writes or modifies in the main memory so let me just write it down uh, the first point it is that it is associated with the block of computer memory this dirty bit is associated with a block of memory okay and here memory means main memory and it indicates whether the block has been modified or not it indicates whether the block has been modified modified or not and third is that it is set so the dirty bit is set when the processor writes to this or you can say writes to means modifies so when the processor modifies this memory okay so whenever the processor going to modify this memory we are going to set the dirty bit as 1 and this dirty bit indicates that it associated block of memory has been modified and not yet saved to the storage yet okay so it says it says that the block is modified block is modified 
but it is not yet stored in the storage okay and what is the storage it is the permanent memory so i mean to say that here after this main memory we also have a secondary memory and the secondary memory is your hard disk drive so whenever a page has been modified but it is not updated in the secondary memory then we set the dirty bit as one but if the page is already updated the modified page is page is already updated in the secondary memory that means both the main memory and secondary memory are having the same page then we do not set this dirty bit so correct answer to this option number 1 is uh, this question number 1 is option number 4 okay now let us move on to the next question 